loopy lights. Another fantastic light. Up, up, up. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba -ba -bum. You seemed very distant for a moment. Oh, when I was just going. It wasn't even coming up on the on the Skype call. No, I, I thought my internet had cut out. You know what my internet's like. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I panicked. That halfway barrel didn't make a sound. It, uh, it wanted to surprise you. Keep you on edge. I can't think of too many more levels after this one. Uh, I can only remember the last stage. My my memory is hazy. I know that the final boss is on a pirate ship that is completely different looking to the rest of the game entirely. But that's pretty much it. I yeah, remember the Gangplank Galleon. Which is yes. the first world of DKC2. Yes. It's like the games go into each other. Except they don't. Oh, I think this might actually be uh, the last level. Is the last level going to take you 30 minutes? Uh, probably. <laughs> Alright, let's think of some more topics to talk about. So... Um, this week's Sushi Bites, to, to date this again, is a game called Cats Run Zen Nihon Ka... Uh, Keika Senshuken. And, um... While I was recording the episode, I realized that Random Access already had an article up about that game. It did. Mm. A Gamera Obscura article from uh, from 2010. So now I'm going through those articles and looking for other things that could uh, be topics. Oh, you want an obscure game? One that I've been re playing recently is My World, My Way. Um, is it Japan only or Japanesey? Uh, it's made by Atlas, or at least published by Atlas. That doesn't necessarily mean much if it's sort of because I mean Atlas published um, Citizens of Earth, and I definitely wouldn't. Call that yeah, a Japanese that, that, game or Japanesey? Yeah, but that's nowadays Atlas. Now uh, this is on the DS. It's oh, really? uh, it is Japanesey in a way, but it is Western fantasy. Right. Okay. Probably not. Uh, 
probably doesn't fall into the remit of sushi bites. Oh, it could. And I would probably suggest it for you. You'd probably get a kick out of it. Though it is what a was, rather... What was it called? A my World, My Way. My World, My Way. My everything. You basically... It's an RPG where you play as a spoiled princess. And... Uh, basically okay. to try okay, to get... that is that is definitely a Japanese game. Yeah. Um, now I'm more interested in Oh come on. You release it on a system I care about and you release it in Japan only! Ah What game? There was a PSP remake of uh, My World My Way. There was? Yeah, in Japan only. Oh yeah, I wonder what that would have been like. Uh, the Japanese title um, is The World Revolves Around Me. <laughs> the, the same the same sentiment as My World, My Way, I guess. Yeah. The game puts the player into the role of Princess Elise, a young, spoiled princess, on a quest to impress a handsome adventurer into being her boyfriend. Ooh. I like this. So, so, it's, so it's an Otome game, in, in a way. Uh, you basically go about doing quests for people and you can pitch a fit about things to literally change the way the world is like you can complain that the monsters suck and you want them to be harder or easier and you can complain about not get, getting as many drops and you'll get more drops <laughs> I if like you... that. So you make the enemies easier and you make them drop more stuff. All right. Yep. And if you die, you have to choose to either uh, lose uh, half your experience that you've gained for the day or half your gold. Or you can complain <laughs> about it and have no punishment whatsoever. Oh, right. I was about to say, well, out of the two, I'd rather lose the experience than the gold, but... Um, if I don't have to lose any of it, <laughs> all right. This sounds this sounds like fun. So, um, what sort of DS exclusive functionality does it use? Microphone, touchscreen. Uh, uh, do you have to use them? You can use the touchscreen if you want to, but you don't have to. You don't have to. Excellent. Okay, that's that's a positive for me. I like DS games where you don't have to use. Them use the touchscreen. My only real complaint about the game is that it's a little grindy. Mm. Of course, a lot of RPGs were at the time. Yeah, but I can I can speed the game up to level up faster. Mm. Wonder if there's a translation for the uh, for the PSP version. Did they add anything to the PSP version? Um, a new mode called Light and Dark with a new character and voiceover. Hmm. Tell you what one Japanese exclusive game that I'd probably like to get sometime is uh, the second retro game challenge. Uh, yeah, I've I've played through that. It's very good. There's a third one on 3DS as well. Yeah, but 3DS is region locked. Yes and no. <laughs> it's meant to be region locked. If there's some way I can soft mod my system, I'll I'll do it because there are a good handful of Japanese 3DS games I want. <laughs> I mean, it, it only figures that the only Nintendo handheld that has region lock is the only one that really has a numerous library of things that I want from Japan. I, uh, I'll look through my notes and I'll get back to you. Might as well wait until the 3DS is done being updated by Nintendo. Yeah, that's, that's one thing, um, that will have to be considered. However, uh, once you do 
do a soft mod on the 3DS. You can update to soft modded, updated versions, so you don't you don't lose out on functionality. Once you soft mod, that's that soft modded OS can keep getting updated, even if the uh, base OS of the system is not. You basically save a, a second operating system to the SD card, and you boot to that. Right, so I found information on the PSP version. It's got a very nice cover. Um, I want to know if there is an English language patch for it. Um, PSP patch? Mm, no. There is not. Gosh, a whole other episode of this remains. A whole other episode of... TCC, Donkey Kong Country. I thought it was in two parts. We're on the second part. No, I meant in terms of when this actually gets edited into actual pieces. God, there's got to be something to talk about. Uh, one thing that was on my mind, just leading from the Japanese stuff topic, and I was thinking of uh, my Japanese copy of Dragon Quest XI, and then I was like, I could talk about that in a bit, but it would just turn into me pitching a fit about <laughs> the modern Dragon Quest translations sucking. That that is your thing. If if you have a thing, that's what it is. I think. Like, let's see, the, the evil knight in the black armor guy that they showed in the announcement trailers. They called him Hendrick inside of the English version, but. His name is Greg. Japanese. Greg. H H Greg. Christmas in July. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Anyways, I, I don't know. Maybe do, they do just you think, know what that is? <laughs> I sort or, of know, but I can't sort say of know. I had. It sounds familiar though. It was a, it was a set of advertisements for uh, for an American establishment uh, a few years back they had a they had their big Christmas sale in July yeah that's some sort of thing that goes on some places sometimes for reasons I can't explain of Christmas in July <laughs> so you were saying the guy's name is Greg yeah, his name's Greg. They re they translated it into Hendrick for whatever reason. <sighs> and I still say to tell if they really went out of their way to screw up all the names of everything. Uh, the little girl with uh, a red hat and overalls, her name is Veronica. So if they change that into something stupid, you know they'll, that... They'll, they'll probably... Uh, red overalls, you say? Yeah. They She's might call like a her Maria, like after Mario, or they might, um, they might go for like something like Wally Waldo, like Waldia or something. Uh, we'll She's see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's basically where I'm saying, just keep an eye on that. To see if they scrub the translations. Though it is nice that they are adding in uh, some actual uh, voiceovers. 
is in the Japanese version, the cutscenes, they feel like they should have had uh, voiceovers, but didn't. And so all their mouths are talking, and it's just a scene that, other than the music, is silent. 